Hi Tarot Moonbugs, it's Ethany and we are going to be under the new moon in Cancer on the 23rd of June for this 2017 and welcoming the season of the crab. And I have many beautiful Cancerian people in my life um, and just coming out of Gemini season, which is, you know, there's quite a few of us here on YouTube who are Geminis. So what I wanted to do today is share with you some new moon energy, um, some of the things you may be experiencing or want to embrace around this time, um, or that you may want to help with your manifestation. And then also we're going to do the new moon and cancer tarot spread, and then I will switch, um, switch cameras and show you an example reading. So let's get to it. So the new moon um, is always a wonderful time to do manifesting work. It is the time of the lunar cycle where we are bringing things into our life as the moon power and glow and visibility and exposure to us is increased until it peaks at the full moon. So this is a wonderful moon cycle to do some nurturing work with your relationships and the people you care about. So relationships can get into ruts and routines very quickly. Um, so take the opportunity of the new moon in Cancer to make a better commitment to nurture the people you love and the relationships that make life better. Because what is it all about if it ain't about love, y'all? Um, I know, as I mentioned, a lot of beautiful Cancerian souls. My son is one of them. Um, and I see and feel a common thread with people born um, under the Cancerian sign. They love deeply. Um, and when they are hurt, they throw up their walls quickly and often shield their true feelings. Now, it doesn't mean we need to step on eggshells around our moon friends but know that there may be some pain behind their exteriors. So if you're seeing that people are behaving in that way where they're putting on a front or they're blocking things, they're putting up walls, it could be because that side of um, the sign is coming to play in that area. So maybe looking a little bit like what is the root cause and getting to that and having some compassion there and healing those aspects. The zodiac of Cancer is ruled by the moon, so we've got water, 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 new water, new ebbs and flows, ever changing, and if there was ever a moon to flow with, this is the one, and it's okay to put your needs first and say no to things that don't feel right. Tending to our emotions is a wonderful thing at this time. I do like to take some time to check in and see how I am meeting my emotional needs, um, so having some emotional intelligence time and some reflection on that. There are healthy ways to go about being loved and values and there are plenty of unhealthy ways to do it and they are often the easiest. I mean, you're going to do what you're going to do and we all have choice, but a good quick checking may save you some regret later. So that is what the, uh, the new moon in tarot, sorry, the new moon in cancer tarot spread is based around. Um, it can be used in any and every new moon in Cancer going forward, so for next year and the year after that. And I see this tarot spread as also a little self-love ritual allowing us some space to check in and work on nurturing ourselves in our relationships. So I'm going to switch over the camera and uh, let's have a look at the new moon in Cancer tarot spread in action. Okay, so let's do the new moon in Cancer tarot spread. Um, we're going to do a little sample reading, see it in action. I'm using the Fellowship of the Fool tarot today. Um, it's a really lovely deck. Uh, I haven't used it in a video before, so I thought I would use that. So I'm going to give it a quick shuffle. I'm not going to spend too much time shuffling. Um, as this is a sample reading and just to show you the actual tarot spread in action okay so it's gonna cut the 
the deck and we'll take it from the top. Okay, so the first position is our emotional temperature. So what our emotional health is at the new moon in Cancer. And we have the journeyman of swords. So this has a different um, court system, this one. So this is the knight of swords in this deck. And this is <laughs> the warrior of the archetypes, or at least my archetypes for the um, for the court cards. So our emotional health at this time, we need to be our own warriors. I think I've said this so many times lately. It's come up a lot, um, being our own warriors, putting ourselves first, having boundaries, saying no, taking action, because nights are always about taking action, taking action and positive steps forward for our health. Um, and this being a sword card um, connected to the element of air, watching uh, that we're, we're taking care of our um, mental health as well and, and being a warrior on that respect and really protecting our mental health. So whether that's, you know, minimizing the amount of time that we're spending with people who are unhealthy for us or, yeah, and really going back to those boundaries. The second one is... Um, need to nurture or feed our soul and we have the ten of stars or wands here so this comes right back to that self-care of the emotional temperature that we've had so we need to to feed ourselves we need to let go of a bunch of stuff <clears throat> and have a look at what we're taking on and how much we're actually taking on and how much of that is actually good for us um, I like this interpretation of the Ten of Stars. So if you look here, the Ten of Wands, she's like, she's dropped them. So in a lot of uh, representations of this card, the the person is holding onto them or have them on their back and they're like carrying them up a hill. Or um, I've even seen like a lot of them dragging them. Whereas this lady has put them down, and she has decided that um, she needs to really take stock and think of what ones she actually wants to pick up again or maybe even looking at this from a perspective of let's work smarter not harder and how can she do this smarter um, and the other thing that I like visually about this card is that they are in front of her so she actually can't avoid this now so there's no avoiding this path she needs to actually make a decision and um, go from there so we need to nurture ourselves by looking at our obligations, what we're putting on ourselves, are we stressing ourselves out, do we have too many expectations of ourselves um, and allowing the time to, especially around a new moon is great because as you know, um, if you've been watching this series and if you know anything about moon magic, the new moon is where we set our goals for manifestation and we want to be really careful that and ensure that what we're setting is up what we want to achieve is going to be successful and a good way of doing that is to make sure that we're not taking on too much um, uh, drop your guard what has been guarded too long that's number three seven of pentacles so the seven of pentacles is very is very aligned we keep having this like carry on theme from the, the other the next card is a card of auditing and reaping what you sow. Um, and in this position, drop your guard, what has been guarded too long. Maybe we have been focusing way too much um, on the results or we've been holding on to our creative projects too long because we're worried that they're not good enough, we're not good enough, they're not going to be successful, all that sort of stuff. So um, yes, we can nurture things. Yes, we can hold things close to us and allow them to percolate. Yes, we can see what's being successful and what is commercially or, or sound or what our tribe likes but we also need to make sure that we're um we're also just creating and doing things that are good for our soul that we really love so that's how i'm seeing that card um and the fourth position is sideways stride so what needs to um be tackled head on so this is what we're being asked to not step around. So as we know, crabs walk sideways and we have the chariot. 
so really take I see this as like taking responsibility for our action taking responsibility for our energy taking responsibility for the direction of our life um, and not being yeah not sidestepping it not sidestepping our power but this is a card of power this is a card of willpower of driving force of um, you know making sure that we're on the right track for, to our destination so it's time to really own that and not sidestep that and not scapegoat it or question it just like grab those reins and get going <laughs> no one else is going to do that work for you no one else is going to um no one else is, is going to help you be responsible for your own life you need to do that for yourself so really owning that um really owning that power that you have and the direction that you want your life to go in and go for it Lots of action needing to be taken in these cards uh, for the, the Cancer New Moon. And our fifth and final position is connections. So how can we improve our relationships this moon? And we have a Three of Swords. And I like when challenging cards come up in what could be seen as a more positive um, position. So for me, this is actually acknowledging um, if you've been like pushing down your emotions or if you haven't been talking about something that you're hurt about or you haven't been expressing yourself for fear of ridicule or judgment this is what the three of swords in this position is speaking to me about um this is the heartbreak you know heartache pain card so really there's two sides to that so whether it's you're not expressing that and you really need to um let people know how you're feeling and ask for help and accept help um and it's okay not to be okay and it's okay we all go through periods where we're blue and we need help and we reach out to those that um, love us and that can really help improve our relationships if we're asking the right people for um, some support and we're we're really expressing what we need um, and then the other side of this is you know watching the um, Maybe watching some of the stuff that maybe needs to be released and forgiven, like if you're holding on to that pain, um, giving yourself permission to let it go. So our relationships can improve when we're feeling, <clears throat> when we allow ourselves the space of being vulnerable um, and allow people in. And that's very powerful. Just make sure you are, you know, ask the right people in and if you, people have kind of shut you down in the past, maybe looking for some healthier choices. Um, and again, it's it's okay, it's normal, um, it's human to feel um, stuck sometimes, it's human to feel down sometimes. Um, it does get better if you do um, if you do ask for and get help. Take it from a mama who had um, postpartum depression and didn't get it treated for a long time. Uh, you need to get it. You need to the, you know the faster you can get some help and the faster you can let people who care let the people who care about you know that you um, need some support the better it will be and um, there are organizations that you can contact if you don't have those people and find your community and let your community know if you need help um, because it does get better so I hope that you enjoyed seeing this new moon in cancer tarot spread in action i'd love to see what you all get for your own reading so make sure you share it on social media and i hope you have a beautiful new moon